All right, next game uh, is Ball State at Indiana, and I talked quite a bit about, <clears throat> excuse me, about the Indiana game when I broke down the Maryland Florida International uh, video. So if you want to watch that for a little more info, you can. But in short, Indiana was was pretty fortunate. Uh, not only to cover the spread, but uh, to win the game. They were down 12-13 in the fourth quarter, and they took two pick sixes back, scored another touchdown, and they scored 22. Uh, they ended up winning the game by 21. They had suspended six players, uh, three-year starters. Um, they're probably going to be back. Uh, so in general, uh, Indiana was probably a team uh, in that first week that shouldn't have covered, maybe or maybe not as far as winning the game straight up. Uh, but they were playing without a few key pieces, so you can't really take everything, uh, I guess, take it with a grain of salt is the saying I'm trying to think of there. Uh, the line's currently 17 everywhere. I lined at 17.5. Uh, Ball State, though, I may be a little low on. I didn't bet that Ball State-Georgia State game. A lot of people did. Uh, for people that were following it, uh, Georgia State actually opened here in Vegas. was like plus 5 or plus 5.5. And, and if you saw, it just was... Georgia State money all summer, uh, then all week right before the game, this day of the game, and they closed six and a half point favorites, which is the biggest move on the board for week one. Uh, and then they lost outright, didn't cover any single number. Ball State actually uh, took care of business after I think they went down 14 7, but Ball State just took over the game. Uh, so, gotta give them credit for that. Uh, they might be a team that I power rate a little bit lower and everyone else too. <laughs> uh, not going to make an, you know, a drastic adjustment yet though. I'm uh, going to kind of see where Indiana and Ball State are both at. And so I'm passing on this game completely. Uh, the total, sorry, I should have pulled this up before I push play. I believe it was at 64 and a half open. And I don't know the current number 60 and a half or 61 um, in my number 63. So I thought the opener was fine. It's kind of come down a little bit. Um, in my, my mine might be a little high just because I haven't adjusted as much for Indiana's offenses. I think some other people probably have. I think it's more systematic. I don't think the loss of Sudfeld or, or Coleman is going to be as drastic as people think either. So, uh, anyways, not playing the game side or, or total. So we'll move on to the next one.